I borrow your voice this afternoon to speak to your people. Touch them, O oh Lord. Reach out unto us. Heal and deliver. Guide our way, O oh Lord. Open our eyes up of understanding and give us wisdom, even to manage our way, that our eternity will be secure in your hand. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Briefly, I ask a question. We are looking for peace. Where is peace? We are looking for peace. Where can we find it? Ramuya, where can we find peace? Christ. Where is Christ? On the cross. On the cross. Should we go to Gethsemane again? Look for that particular cross and say, Christ, we are looking for peace. Rajivala, where can we find peace? Are you there? Galatians 2 2. We are preaching as a team this afternoon. Hallelujah. Amen. Galatians 2 2. We don't have much. And I went up by Revelation. Okay. He came unto them and also which have preached among the Gentiles, mm. but probably to them which were of reputation, mm. lest by any means I should run or have run in vain. And I went up by revelation and communicated unto them the gospel which preach among the Gentiles but privately to them which were of reputation lest by enemies I should run or had run in vain so what do you want to bring out there Brajibala? Hallelujah. Start thinking. Where can we find peace? Okay. Another person. Sister Mary. We are looking for peace. Where can we find it? What I know that you can find peace in the word of God. Peace in the word of God. How do we find it? We need a navigation. Something to navigate us. Hallelujah. Galatians 1 3. Sorry. Galatians 1 3. God says, Grace be to you and peace from God the Father. So we can only find peace from God the Father and every other thing we are looking for. Galatians 1 3. May the grace be to you and peace from the God the Father. I'm coming to you, people at home. Hallelujah. Amen. Rabbi Demi, can you hear me? I think they were all moved. I can hear you. Sister Afia, unmute yourself and tell us where we can find peace. Hallelujah. Amen. Sister Rosalie, Brother Wesley, Sister Oida, where can we find peace? Amen. To save time, I want to be sure that they are with me. Hallelujah. Amen. Where can we find peace? Brother Sunday, where can we? Is anyone? Yeah. They're not responding. Sister Bosse. Let's see. Their speaking is, is very low. Is anyone speaking at all? Yeah, Sister Bosse was speaking just now. He didn't, she didn't know what I said. I heard it. Someone is speaking now. Sorry. Hallelujah. 
trying to save time. Let's go. It's real. We can go from this one. Hallelujah. When it's ready, let me know. There's this song and hymn that said, Oh, what peace we offer for feet.
Prayerlessness makes you worry as much as possible. Prayerlessness makes you worry as much as possible. But does it solve your problem? After the worry, after the high blood pressure, after the tension in your heart, after mistake and mistake that you made because you worry, is there any result? I read a short, uh, a short chat. This man says, death himself came into town, walked like human being. I met a man, and he said, death, what are you doing in this community? He said, he's coming to take 100 people. 100 people. Who are these 100 people? You don't worry. All I need is 100 people. And the man death spoke to start walking around telling everybody death has entered. He's taking 100 people. Who are these 100 people? He didn't reveal to me. But he said he's taking 100 people. And by the next day, 24 hours, a thousand people has died. What happened? The man went to death again and asked, you said hundred. How come thousand people has died? He said, I only took hundred. Worry, take nine hundred. Anxiety took nine hundred. Tension took nine hundred. I didn't take more than what I wanted to take. It's only hundred. Imagine there is a shot of gun here. Boom! Maybe that bullet, one bullet, can only kill one person. But by the time we start jumping on top of each other, mm. hundred will land in hospital. Broken leg, broken leg, broken. Why worry when you can pray? Why did you release your peace? Where is your place of God? Where is the security door that God has given you to guard? How are you guarding it? Prayerlessness makes you worry unnecessarily. Amen. Amen. Where is peace? Where is peace? Prayerlessness. Pray only about things you think you cannot manage by yourself make you lose your peace. You know money can buy everything and you can buy it, but there is a particular time. Let me use the example that Sister Tentoko was talking about during the Sunday school. The elderly woman said, don't give me injection. The worry of not getting injection is more worry than the trouble in, his, in our system. He's sick, everybody know you are sick. And then you are more worried about getting injection. What does the injection do to you? As Christians, we have taken God as 999 or 111, emergency on the road. When I need God, I call on God. Ready made 24, 24 7 online communication with God. Father, please, if you do this, I will do that. Help me through. Just help me through. Just help me through. Hallelujah. Yeah. Why, don't you, why don't we build the rock of prayer from time to time without it being when we needed something from God? Praying only for what you need. Oh, my child, my child, my child, my child. Is it the only one? No. But when your relationship in prayer with God has come to a point of lifestyle, it has come to the level, you know, that you can you feel prayerlessness is a sin. Even if anything shake your family, the trust you have in God, the trust they have in you, will uphold you and will defend your cause. Hallelujah. Amen. Where is peace? Peace in prayerlessness. When you prayerless, you refuse to accept what God gives. That is where peace gets lost. When we refuse to accept 
what God give you. You want to see another brother that is riding Omar. God has given you a bit. Stay inside it. Enjoy your life. If it is motorbike, enjoy it. Jesus has gone to the cross for the same purpose and for the same reason. If I ride, if I'm driving jet today, if I die, and you are driving bicycle and you die, we are true Christian. We will meet with our Father on the same level. We will wear the same robe. We will rejoice at the same level. Why are we looking for what God has not given us? This is where our peace got lost. Why are we aspiring for what we don't need? Not necessary. We need a necessity, not extra. Where is peace? Don't refuse to accept what God gives you. Don't refuse to accept what God gives you. Looking for peace elsewhere rather than God himself. That's where we lost our peace. That's where we lost our peace. You think, oh, if that God system is too slow, I know God will answer, but when is he going to answer? All I need is just now. I need it now. Is God the sovereignty, the overall ruler, the one that says that nobody changes? The Bible says have the key of David. When it's open, no one can close. Yes. And when it closes, no one can open. Yes. Why can't you stay with the supreme authority? He has time and season in his hand. He has the heart of king in his hand. He tosses it around like a flowing of river. What are you waiting for? His time is best for your own. Hallelujah. Amen. A thousand years in the sight of God is just like one day. Why are you running? Why are you speeding beyond your destiny? This is what takes away peace from men. Why do we look into things that cannot be? Hallelujah. Amen. I said, try to rule your own life. Take away peace. Attempt to be the superior. You didn't create yourself, my brother, my sister. You didn't make your destiny. Somebody did, and he did for your own good. His plan and thought for you. His plan of good. To bring you to expected end. When you try to control your own life, if you defend it, you will lose it. But if we release it unto him, he will take good care of it. I'm trying to catch up time. If you doubt God, you will lose peace. If I doubt God, I will lose peace. Doubting God make us lose our peace. Doubting God make us lose our peace. Can he do it? Can he not do it? He can do all things. You can do all things through Christ that strengthens you. Is there anything impossible for God to do? No. Nothing is impossible for God to do. If you don't carry all your cares into the Lord, there is tendency of losing peace. We are looking for peace. Where is it? In all that we have stated, prayerlessness is one big topic. And under it, if you don't pray, you have to worry. Because you need to take one or the other. Pray only for what you need. What you think you need. Make one lose peace. Refuse to accept what God gives. Make us lose peace. Refuse to accept what God gives. Refuse to accept what God gives, make us lose peace. Looking for peace elsewhere. All other God are minor God. 
all other gods are small gods. All the God that we created ourselves. Pastor was talking about the drum is constructed in Nigeria. If you like, you can tell the carver, put three eyes, put four legs, put two air or one air. If I have to put something like this down, which I instruct somebody to do for me, and started worshiping, what do I want to get from such? If you refuse to cast your body onto God of Israel, he withdraws your peace. Trying to rule your own life, not able to give it to him in total. You want it your way, you don't want it in God's way. It takes away peace. Doubt God's word. When you doubt God's word, can he do it? Can he not do it? It takes away. Carry on your body and kiss unto him. I'm not calling the Bible verses because of our time. Um, God is God of love and peace. What did I say? Is God is He's God of love and peace. Conflict come to our life because of disobedience. Conflict come to our life because of sin. Conflict come to our life because we refuse to accept God as God. Sin destroyed the world. Sin destroyed the world peace and rob us of our inner peace. When a Christian does not have inner peace, you don't need to look elsewhere. Trace your footstep back to the cross. Go and search your relationship with God, your journey of faith, how I sin be. Every day, morning and evening, God himself walk into the garden of Eden to say hello to the one he created because he loved relationship. But suddenly, he got to the garden, the usual place of bubbling, usual place of barrier, usual place of happening, usual place of high dad, and you are, you are here now. Oh, let's do this. Ah, eh, eh. Everywhere was quiet. Is anywhere in your life quiet with your relationship with God? Is there any time that God is knocking? Keep knocking, keep knocking, and you will not open the door. Find your peace in Christ. Find your peace at the foot of the cross. Find your peace in the word of God. Find your peace in Holy Spirit. Find your peace in the Father himself. He's the only giver of true peace. Thank God for the church. Thank God for everyone that has supported in the beginning. Since we have been fortified through faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Romans 5.1 Today whether you live in comfort zone or dwell in place where hardly a whisper of war happened, Christ invites you into his peace. Jesus is inviting you to settle the inner peace. God cannot give us the happiness and peace apart from himself. It's only in him. There's no other peace that God will offer you but himself. Somebody said he gave back to himself and he, he named himself. I am the I am. What else outside him? Nothing. Let's rise on our feet. Let's begin to search our heart. Where have I lost my peace? Where have I lost my peace, Father? I'm returning unto you. I am going back to the heart of worship. It's all about you, Daddy. It's all about you, Jesus. It's all about you, Baba. Restore my inner peace. 
over every situation, over every condition, over every part of my life, my marriage, my home, my salvation, my ministry. The calling upon your life is this suffering. The calling that God has called you, how are you managing it? What are you doing about it? Where is your inner peace about your ministry to God? Where is your inner peace when it comes to your service before the Lord? Where is your inner peace? Find it. I'm going back.